Where's all the people? They're like, oh, my house. My house is gone. Look at them all. They're running for the hills. Well, don't worry. We are going to have a very British looking estate growing up around your ears any moment now. So you want to start a new city in 2022, a theme city, an even more realistically modded city that's going to challenge everything we know and love about our favourite game, City Skylines? Then you've come to the right place. My name is Biffa, and for the first time on YouTube, and also off YouTube as well, we are going to be building a British-themed city. Yes, you heard that right. There will be tea aplenty to keep the old brain cells active and also left hand drive traffic to confuse and confound us for the rest of the series, I'm sure. In the description below, you will find a link to the mods and map steam collection for this new build. But as for the assets, well, there are going to be so many British assets that are in use that I will just point you in the direction of the amazing creators of these assets and then let you dive into their Steam collections yourself. You'll find the link to those in the description below too. The map I've chosen is called South Shire, the Rolling Hills of the UK by Dust Vixen. And one thing that I've not updated yet on this map are the roads. This map is used in the vanilla style roads, but we are going to be building with the UK Road Project Revived Roads from McWelshman. These roads look fantastic, and as we go on our journey with our city build together, we will be slowly upgrading the roads and the junctions all over this map with the UK roads. So, left hand drive, check. Miles per hour, check. Plenty of tea, check. UK roads and UK road signs, double check. UK houses, oh yeah, we have loads of those, check. So if you're excited to see how deep the British rabbit hole goes, then subscribe right now and let's dive in. And here we are at the start of our brand new city. So I thought I'd just take a couple of moments just to point out a couple of the major new mods that we're going to be using that's really going to change the way this city works. Then we'll look at the map, how I've got a couple of things set up, and then we will dive in. So let's come out of this view here. You'll notice already things are looking a little different. So let's go into my options screen first of all. And the two main mods that are going to really make a difference to our game are the life cycle rebalance revisited mod so that adjusts the lifespan of the people in your city the speed of their aging also affects as you can see death health transport usage and immigration those coming into your city and um, what they are going to be like so that is a big change to the way our city runs and then also we have down here somewhere <laughs> if i can find it realistic population the latest version as well and this is the biggie this is the biggie it changes how many people live in each of your buildings how many people are needed to go to work at industries in schools yeah it affects absolutely everything so that is going to mean that in our city we are going to be building huge housing estates to fulfill the needs that we have so that is a biggie don't forget, there will be a collection in the description for all of these mods, but we can see some of the old classics there, 81 tiles, of course, Traffic Manager. We've upgraded a few, got the better road toolbar. The change to the toolbar down here is yet another toolbar. Um, that's got a few other new little things on there. Building themes is a big one we're going to be using, district-based building themes. So as we start our city, we're not necessarily going to get all the UK houses. We'll get whatever City Skyline gives us. As soon as we can get districts, we'll be changing that. The other big change is using extended managers, which ups the prop limit and also would change a load of other stuff as well. But it means we've had to switch over to Tree Anarchy. So this version here, as you can see on the screen, and also Prop Anarchy, uh, which have got some other benefits to it as well. But we'll see that as we go along. So that is... That is the basic stuff and the new ones that we're using. So very excited. A few other mods that we're looking to use as well. And I've got the UUI up here as well. Unified UI. It's now got all of these mods in. So the other big thing that we've got new is roads. So let's just start this off. As we always have to do on a new City Skylines build is build a road and unlock more roads. So as we said, McWelshman has the UK Road Project revived with these fantastic looking roads 
There we go. They've got double yellow lines. They've got post boxes. Let's just pause the game while we're doing this and plop a few of these down. There we go. Look at that. Telephone boxes. I've got these UK. I don't know what you call these. Sort of when you come to a junction, these light up so you know where the junction is instead of bollards. All that sort of stuff. But you'll notice that the main rows that we have on this map have not been changed. Um, these are still the vanilla roads. So when we get some more money, we'll go through and we'll make adjustments to this junction because I don't like this one and the roads and all sorts of things. Let's get those back. We found a tiny bit of money. Now, as you'll notice, some of these roads come with double yellow lines already built in down the side. And to get these to show up properly, you need to use the correct theme. So I'm using theme manager down here, as we can see, this pops out. And if you go on to color correction, it's one of these. Hang on, is it the top one? Here we go. So select theme, and there is actually a UK road projects revival theme, which would change the way the roads look. If you don't use that, as you can see, look, you don't really see, if we just use these other themes that come with the game, don't really see it very well. And this map has its own theme, Southshire. And look at that, it changes these roads altogether. Um, but I don't like the way the UK Road Projects makes the map look. So what I've done is I've taken the Southshire theme and then using Theme Mixer, I think this is, not Theme Manager, you are then able to adjust or color correct um certain items in the game let's find the right one here we go road structures so you can change each of these so i've got the south shy theme and then the road structures i would actually like to take from uk road project so you just click on that and we can see the difference in the color there we go and the roads have changed color and i've done all of that uh, through all the different structures and that's all i had to do and the rest i've kept the same and then i've saved that so i've got my own theme uk city 2020 so we're gonna load that back up there we go and then the map also has various relight settings so you can either pause on that or look at the map on the steam workshop and also has some ultimate eye candy settings as well and that is about it but it's probably best that you go and get that off the steam workshop when you download the map so all of that being said, why don't we dive into our city and start building on this lovely map, which we sort of haven't really taken a look around it all yet. It's got rolling hills in the distance. It's got a lovely river that runs through here. No sort of sea access, but we can we can make do. If we come over here, we've got access to the sea, and I'm sure we could build uh, an inlet and do all sorts of things. We'll work that out as we go along. Okay, so let us get building. We're going to start with our For You Road coming in here. I've got this set to straight slope. Yep. And we'll come out 10, 11, 12 and home. There we go. And then we'll just run that down here as the start. And already I'm loving these roads. They are looking very, very swish. Oh, they've got like cobble on the side as well. That beautiful, beautiful pavement and the bins. Oh, it's like I'm at home. Very cool, very cool. Uh, which way are we going to build this out? So I don't know where any resources are or anything yet because that hasn't been unlocked yet. So I think we might just have to go for... Um, I'm going to build out my residential this way and see if we can get our industry up to the river and whether we get some river access to that, we shall see. Now, when we start off, um, we're literally just going to have to go with what we have and we may end up redesigning this area at some point but we'll see how it goes um, let's get one of these four lane road parking and trees asymmetrical yeah we'll probably upgrade the end of that what's this one here uk four lane with trees probably no parking on that one yeah let's go for this one we'll come a little bit further down um and let's go out to here so we're sort of mirroring up here there we go excellent oh i'm liking the look at that Got traffic lights. Oh man, I just love all these little props and things. The UK look, the UK look. And then off of here, we are going to have a little estate where people are going to move in to live. Um, so I just want, so I'm getting used to all these different roads. We've got the speed limit, whether it's got parking, how many you know, lane arrows, which way they're going. So I think this is the one that we want. A basic two, if I click on that, we've already done that. Oh, there we go. We've got a couple more down here. Yeah, so this one here. I think we'll do nicely and we're literally gonna yeah we'll bring it along a little bit further and you know what we might just go straight for something like this now i'm going to get these nice and close because i'll tell you why that's what i want because i know that when we redo this we are going to get 
some cool buildings in here. Do I want this many junctions off of this road? Do you know what? I don't think I do. I'll tell you what we're going to do. Oh, man, I'm probably spending so much money. Let's just pause the game a minute. <laughs> going to be spending far too much. Uh, let's take another 2U with a tree. I'm going to bring this out here. This one's going to be sort of like a mini collector off of here. Um, I would like an asymmetrical connection at the end, but 2U plus 3. Oh, here we go. Uh, no parking. That'll be good. So we'll pop that in. Kind of upgrade. Turn that around the other way. Oh, that is a different style of road, isn't it, altogether? Well, we'll go with that anyway. That's fine. I might just move this up a touch. And then we're going to take, yeah, this one here for suburbs with fewer road markings for more realistic layouts. That is the one that I want. So we're going to bring that along the side here all the way to the end. And I'm going to butt these up really close like that. So we've only got a gap of four in between because I know what we're going to do uh, once we get access. Is that going to let me go where I want to go? Well, that's rather annoying, isn't it? Let's go this way. There we go. Excellent. We're going to do that. So we're going to need to get some water and power. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to take this road. But we are going to change it for this one. Yeah, trying to get used to all the different types of road. Yeah, that one there. So this one's going to be where our industry grows over here. And then have we got sort of an industrial looking road? Two lane with median. I might just go with something like that and do like a little offset like that and then build off of here just because just to make it look fun and we might just put a little so if i did one of these is that the one i used before it's got the different arrows oh that's good uh we'll turn that around there we go and there we go and you know what i might just upgrade that one that fits in much better and i like the way it's automatically put because it's got no parking the double yellow line so you can't park when you come around the corner there and then this is going to be where the industry is so let's just take a normal 2u road up here we could use the suburbs one again and i don't want to over we, we really are not going to need much industry as you'll see going along right let us get our power in and the first thing i want to put down here is the battersea power station that gives us 120 megawatts as compared to 40 from the coal power plant and it costs pff, costs less than initially and the same upkeep so that is going to go in here and i'd like that to be seen as you're driving down the road so that is going to go there. Excellent. And then our water. Hmm, how are we going to do this one? How about we just pop it right on the corner here? I think that will do nicely. And then we can pop our water pipes in. There we go. So we've got power and water over the area. And then the other thing that we need is our inland water treatment plant to be dealing with all the nasties. And what we could do, we'll just toggle that one up there. There we go. Is we could pop that next to the Battersea Power Station for now. I think that will be okay. And then we can hook that in. And I think that is all the needs we want at the moment. So now what we need to do is fill all of this in um i'm going to use one of my tools here i want to take off any zoning on this main road so i'm right clicking so we get the zoning down here um this is right by the highway so i'm probably gonna actually yeah we'll do that because i i know what sort of i know what sort of houses are coming up which are going to fit in there really well let's take that off so now we can also zone in there we don't need any shops just yet but i think that will do i think traffic lights here are probably a bit overkill so i'm gonna ch oh houses are coming in let's change that to give way signs and yeah that's looking good houses are being built and we're gonna get oh the power let's get our power over here completely forgot about that there we go that's good so we'll start seeing some of the buildings that we're getting now there is a collection which i will link to below called the uk collection which you can set once you get the option for policies and stuff as the main source of housing and buildings and commercial for your city. But you need to get districts and at least policies uh, before we can do that. What do we need? So we need 550 and then we'll get, I think it's the one after, isn't it? 1,000 districts and policies, 1,100. Then we'll start changing it. But at the moment, we're going to get all these random things that are going to pop up some are oh, these are the ones these are the ones that we're going to be using 
they are going to look fantastic in here but where, where are the people we are waiting for the people to move in hopefully they don't take too long because this is all costing me money <laughs> nobody's moved in yet i'm gonna add some shops while we're waiting uh we want shops along here so what i'm hoping i can do actually is i wanted that set as two done that a little bit too close along there but i'll tell you what we're gonna have that and then we'll put some trees and we'll make something of that road instead so let's have a look at these houses so that counts as one house one household three children nobody in there it's just being built two adults we are getting a mix a random amount of people up to 113 even though we're not seeing any cars yet is nobody gonna drive in oh there we go what's this what are you doing all mining truck Thank you very much for bringing in the coal for our power, which is very good. I've had this happen before where no cars will turn up, but it still says you've got people. So do you know what we're going to do? We are just going to keep on building. And hopefully, I'm going to put this down, not spend too much money. So we can see over here how much overall we're using of our budget, which is really helpful. Uh, that's 240. I'm going to pop that down. And see if that makes... Hey, a lot of the people are coming in. Here they come. Oh, look at that. With all their brand new cars. Farmer Giles is needing to move in as well. Mind, mind the car, please. Thank you very much. Yes, no vanilla cars in sight. Everybody's got funky new looking cars. Wait, I want to know where he's going. Oh, there you go. They've turned up. Excellent. Thank you for parking outside someone else's house. <laughs> Wouldn't you love that if you lived over here? And they just park the tractor right in front of your house. Cool. Okay. So we need to uh, we need to keep going, don't we? We need to get this place filled up. Let's do that there. Dedicated turning lanes. So I'm going to come down here and we're going to do some more building this way. Until we hit, what was the one before? 550. Mamma mia, that's going to be a lot. So I'm going to just keep going all the way to the end. I would like another road connecting down here. But I don't want to ruin the space uh, that we've got here so what i'm going to do i'm going to pop that one out then i'm going to grab this road and i want this to go down here so in fact i'm going to pop all of these out like this like this like this let's do that again use the picker picker mod grab that and we could literally butt up against there and then hit this main road here which is good i'm going to take that road and upgrade that one so we'll get the dedicated turning lanes if we do oh look at that i've got despawning on let's turn that off oh shocking shocking there we go so that should be okay and then that is going to be give way like that one not going to bother with give way signs on all of these roads they will be perfectly fine and then what i'm going to do is build these out the same as these over here so that was 1200 which i think is all the way out to that one. Oh man i'm out of money oh good grief don't think i'll be able to get any loans we need 550 people oh darn and i can't add in any more water pipes oh i can okay let's see if we can cover this eek <laughs> as much as we can <laughs> and try and get the people in here Look at that. Already. Already. We're struggling. How far can I go with this? Let's just go as far as I can. I can go as far as there. Oh, mamma mia. Mamma mia. Oh, we're up to 303 with what we've got here. I didn't think I would struggle that much to get all the people in. So I'll tell you what we're going to do here is we're going to right click on that down there. I think I've already right clicked on these ones. Maybe not. Fill that in with housing. We'll leave this one here with a little bit of shop fronted. So what have we got down here? We've got some cool looking. Oh, look at that. Some real cool looking graffiti covered. We've got a coral a fish place, fish and chip shop, barbecue refreshment rooms lots bookstore a big bite look a repeat of that one again tesco express there we go so we will we've still got the go nuts for donuts so we will try and spread these out a bit as much as we can wow we're actually making money i'm i'm really pleased we're doing really well i'm going to continue this i reckon we've got to fill all of this before we can get what we want so okay let's continue
Oh man, yeah, putting in these roads along here, like, they're so expensive. What's that going to be? Up to 1,200. That's the length there, isn't it? Ooh, 1,200 construction cost. 2,468. 4,800, I think, yeah. So, need to wait a bit. Now we're getting some other needs coming in. There we go. All right, we'll leave that ticking away. We're up to 399. So we do have water coverage over here. So we can pop in a little bit of industry and we're really going to be finding out that to support huge industry particularly when we get to the big garbage and industry options that we are going to need huge amounts of population which is great you know i'm looking forward to that challenge um there we go we just about got that all covered which is good right i've made this a really expensive road building exercise oh auto save our first sip of tea of the new series. Wow, I'm gonna carry on expanding. And don't forget, we need a name for this city, for this series. And I always like to leave that down to you lovely folk. So something British related, of course, tea related. Let me know, let me know in the comments below. I can't wait to hear what you come up with. I love the little separate parking bay down here as well. Oh, I'm really excited for all the... De I mean, that's why are we just waiting for money to come in? Because we are making money. If I just put in here, like UK... Uh, oh, that's going to pop up because I put you. Look at all the UK buildings and things that we've got to work with. There are pages and pages and pages and pages and pages. And if I put British in here, we've got even more pages to add on to that for everything so oh man i'm so excited right got some money let me spend it all 507 we are getting so so close I really want my districts. Oh, that's 1,100, wasn't it? Oh, well, at least... Uh, do you know what? I'm actually pleased how much money we're making, which is fantastic. Look, these guys are already complaining. Oh, my goodness. Look at how many workers these will take. That is... I think it's because it's got more floors and the footprint size. Way little Hamlet. 550. Taxes, loans, garbage, healthcare. So now, of course, our citizens are going to be wanting all of these things. And I'm trying to use, again, UK versions. So we've got UK medical practices, UK schools, all sorts of stuff. But my plan, my goal for today is to get up to the, the policies tab. So, yeah, still haven't got that. Right, so that is what we needed to get to 5,000. Oh, it's 5,000. 500. Um, I'm not going to go any further there because I can't quite fit in exactly what I want. I think I might just add... Oh, no, we don't need the road there. So I'm now going to do this on the other side i could do it with the move it mod but unfortunately that would be uh, cheating so <laughs> we're not we're not going to do that so let's have a look here let's have a look here and see what we can do so this is going to start adding crossroads but well, that's fine i don't mind that Right, so let's have a look at some of our needs now. So healthcare needs. There we go. So we've got over here a pharmacy. Oh man, we've only got 7,000 left. Let's speed this up a bit. So we've got a tiny pharmacy, uh, which has one small clinic with one ambulance. And what is the coverage? The coverage actually looks reasonably good. So I'm going to pop that down here. There we go, next to these shops. Hopefully, that is going to cheer everybody up. We can see what our coverage is. There we go. Yeah, not too shabby. And then when we get a bit more money, we can spend a little bit more. And then for our schools, we have got down here, UK Village Primary School. We've got a church, which counts as a school. Uh, we've got the Cleekerson Elementary School and the mid sized Elementary School. That is a reasonably sized large one, which is the one I want to go for, because the larger they are, again, the larger footprint they've got, the more people um, they will they will teach, they will take. So, yeah, that's good. All of this is covered, yeah. So we can fill 
all of this in. Oh, we're going to hit our next target in no time at all. Oh, man, how many people need to work in here? General store 12. So, yeah, to get people educated. I mean, we need schools, obviously. Oh, here we go. Uh, Cleekerson Elementary is a bit smaller. Mid-size elementary. I like the size of this one. Let's just slow things down a minute. I reckon we could break up this shape here before anybody moves in. Let's just delete that middle section. And I reckon if we connect this up down here, so I'm going to use the same road. And we can always add some detail a bit later. Yeah, look at that. That is absolutely perfect. And we can do that down there. So that is going to be our school. Let's have a look at our... So I'm going to put that back to 100. That's okay. Taxes. So let's get this up to 12. We know they're going to be happy to pay that at least. Maybe 13 if we start making the city look really nice. A little bit more. So this is filled up already, this one. 15 out of 20. So we've got a bit of a need for industry. So, okay. Maybe let's add... Let's just go for in there, because I know the water coverage is down here. Yeah, we'll just go for that. Get some small frontage buildings there. And I'm pretty sure we're okay for power and water. Yeah, that's doing all fine. Oh, we've got some death care. We've got the body collection, which acts as a cemetery. And the crematorium. Why don't we go for that one? Let's turn that off so we can see it. Let's reload that. That is not too bad i don't really want that right right by the school uh maybe we can just pop that now is there a way i'm sure there is to not mess up the zoning on these roads but to get it on here if i do prioritize older roads so that's kept that zoning and put some over here which is exactly what i wanted and then we can pop this sort of there oh and everybody's upgrading oh they're all happy Bodies will now be collected. I'm glad you're so pleased. Uh, cemetery, deceased stored. Got six hearses. So as it's needed, we have that. Man, rebuilding all of this with our new themes when we get them is going to be... It's going to be an interesting an interesting task. When do we get paths? 1,600. Oh, my God. Yeah, I think we're going to go for a medical practice. I'd like that in here right by the school. But again, we've got our zoning... So if I do that, yeah, see, look, it switched the zoning. So if we go back again, prioritize newer roads. There we go. Excellent. I know there's a way of doing it. So we've got a couple of medical practices. Uh, we're going to go for this one. We're just going to pop that. That'll be fine there. Yay. Everybody is pleased. And we're making a reasonable amount of money as well, which is good. Oh, and everyone's upgrading, which is a zap. Whoa, mama. <laughs> What's happened? I'm hoping when I come out of this screen, it'll all come back. Ah! That is very weird. I think a reload is needed. And everything is back to working okay. Right, I'm going to continue expanding this. We've got one, two, three, four. So we're going to add some more roads out on here. So I'm looking at this now thinking we've got one, two, three, four roads, one, two, three, four, got five roads on here. Um, whether I make this fifth road, one, two, three, four, take out this fifth road. I think I'm going to do that and move it over a bit and make that another connection to this road over here. So if we grab that and just bring that down, yeah, hopefully we're not spending too much money. And what I don't want to do is destroy... So I want to leave a gap of two here with an extra one for some trees. Uh, if we go for something like that, what does that look like? I think that will be okay. And then we'll go into there like that. We're going to spend all our money on this great big road going through here. Yep, there we go. There goes all of our money. Oh, and people upgrading. They are liking that. And that gives us another entrance into this area. Um, I'd like to add in here. Let's have a look. What have we got? Some asymmetric. Uh, UK four lane roads. That'd be for you. Yeah, there we go. District and policies. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Okay, we'll just slow things down a little bit. Uh, asymmetric roads. This one here. 
just to upgrade this little bit where it comes in. Oh man, that's a three and a two. I didn't want that many. Uh, oh, it's actually got it there, isn't it? Three and a three. This one isn't showing how many. What's that one there? Let's upgrade that one. That is far too many. We get a lot of flashing and weird things going on. Oh my goodness me. Let's change it to that. Oh, what's going on? It's happened again. Everything's disappeared. No. Well, I have to say that was really, really weird. I've reloaded again and it seems okay for the moment. So let's deal with some of the needs of our city. We're using 101% of our water usage so we can up our budget i think 65 percent will be okay electricity we're doing okay on we have some other needs just before we dive into the policies that we've got there we go water's okay trash um so we haven't got any uk type trash collection we're going to go with what we've got here and i think at the moment that one will be fine we'll pop that one on in there excellent and then finally police and fire oh we've got all of these okay uh, let's have a look here um yeah we've got a uk fire station and i don't know what the nd is on the end of that uk fire station nd mm, if you know what it is let me know in the comments below i think we're going to just pop that here so that's got access to the main road in fact i'm going to give this its own little asymmetrical connection and hope that when i place this road down here we go it doesn't cause any issues let's just go in the middle up to there oh there was a pause there and i thought something was going to happen but we're okay we're okay um and then we'll just add a normal road off of there and that can just come up here and have a few services and bits and pieces off yeah excellent so we're gonna have um, let's pop fire at the end and then we'll pop police what have we got here a rural police station well, here we've got a local police station, which I think would be a little bit better. We've got a larger one here, a UK police station. What's that going to cost us? 12,000. Let's fast forward ahead until we get 12,000. Oh, there we go. Excellent. We've got some money. How much is this one down here? Yeah, let's use this one. And that will fit in the end there nicely and everybody's happy and they can go out and deal with the crime hold it there mister yep there we go we've got uk <laughs> just pause down here and have a look uk police cars yeah he's going so quick we can't even see him okay he's gone to deal with all the crime over there right now let's take a look at our policies and our themes so what we're going to do is go into our city go into our policies and we're going to allow themes for the whole city and we are going to use the british uk style uh, and if we take a look at that we'll go into theme manager british uk style i think it's let's go to included and it's got all of this included shops industries the works this isn't all of the uk stuff we've got this is just a style which i'll put the link to in the description below just to give our city a base um and then what we're going to do is individually we are going to set these areas up uh, differently so i am going to put a theme over here on this side so to do that we need to run a district i think we're going to fill that over there at some point in the future i think yeah that'll be okay that'll go up to there any other names that you're giving for the city that aren't used we could always use them for our districts as well so keep them coming let's just pause the game for a moment so this one here enable and themes now the ones that are yellow have these items missing so what's happened here is is i've loaded up these themes straight from the workshop and they don't work but these items are actually in my game if we go into the the find we'll see them so i need to put together my own themes um so some of these have only got a few items missing but this is the one we want so we're going to take these three out but all of these look at these nice uk terraced houses all the different levels and yeah these are going to look fantastic so it's the second residential one on the list without the colon that one there not the british uk on butler district so I don't know whether they're going to automatically just change, because we've got some in here already, or whether I need to do some deleting. And you know what? I'm a little bit... I don't want to wait. So we're going to take all... Let's just pause it. We're going to take all the houses out in a section at a time, because there's some nice corner ones that will come in as well, which I want. And also, it will enable me to just check the zoning is all set up. Yeah, we've got the zoning okay. 
So let's, for instance, take out... That road stops there. Okay. Let's take out all of those and let these grow back in. There's all the people that are like, oh, my house, my house is gone. Look at them all. They're running for the hills. Oh, the poor people. They've got nowhere to live. Well, don't worry. We are going to have a very British looking estate growing up around your ears any moment now. Okay, so things are growing a little bit slowly, unfortunately. Um, that is going to happen because it depends what our needs are at the moment. Yeah, so our needs are sort of getting a little bit out of whack. Let's come out of that view there and see what else we can do. Do we have access to paths yet? 1,600. We will definitely get that. But I want all of this along here to be this, perhaps, what I would call smaller residential places. How many can we fit? I think we only fit like two into these. But then they're a lot closer together as well. Actually, it says two adults, but that is for that whole block of all of those houses. Oh, mamma mia, we're going to need much more space to fill this in. We should get some corner ones that come in at the end here. I think we'll need to see if we don't... I think that'll be okay, having those big long terraces like that. Yeah, we'll be fine. Uh, we need to add some more shops and some more industry as well to keep up with our needs and uh, we could possibly just pop in a couple of little shops either side of there maybe a few small ones along the back there and definitely should we have this as a shopping area that people can come and visit i think that might work quite well uh, let's continue this road down here and hope doing so does not break our game in any way there's always a big pause isn't there before the <laughs> before the road kicks in gets me very very worried at what's happening here oh is this an asymmetric road all the way down it is of course isn't it because i use the same one down here there we go and these roads can head off in that direction and hook up with whatever is coming next what we could do though if we just look down here is this one here needs to be mm -hmm, this one. There we go, which means that one does, which means that one does. Excellent. Uh, that needs to go the other way around. That needs to go the other way around. That needs to go the other way around. Excellent. And then what I would like to do is to give all of these dedicated turning lanes coming in and out there and there and there. And there. And some of these are going to start getting traffic lights, I think. So we'll go there, and there, and there. Or shall they? As these are smaller side roads, I think, actually, we should be right with just the give way like that. Yeah, that's okay. So we've got a dedicated one for the road that's crossing over the traffic. I think that is the best way to do it. I think they're all set up like that. Yep, that's okay. Just on the main roads. And then down here, these will be giveaway anyway. So let's just do that as well. I think that will be okay. Yeah, I was trying to upgrade these ones here, wasn't I, to something like that. I'm, I'm just going to leave that. I'm going to just walk away. We're not going to touch that one. But look at these houses. I love the details on these. Got little sheds. Look, they're wandering around, sitting down in their garden. Look. Oh, it's brilliant. This is what I think of when you think of rows of terraced houses in a British setting. This is it. So all of this section boink, along the back here is going to be set up like this. But we're going to have to do it a little bit at a time because otherwise we're going to give ourselves a load of problems. And then, of course, we can use some of these other houses in other places once I get all my themes going. But it's going to look really cool. Right, we need a bit more industry. So maybe we'll come over here. So this over here, now as these buildings start to grow, uh, will start to also be the default UK theme that we had set up before with the default UK themed industries. So we'll keep an eye on what ones we get. But again, we're not going to need too many. I think we'll just do that. That should be okay. Let's just give that give way and we're going to go that give way we could do some dedicated lanes there and there and i think effing it else will be okay it's not going to get too busy so let's have a look what we're going to get a juicens definitely uk what's this one down here an mss lasers but yeah these are definite uk looking style buildings 
gap. <laughs> Not the gap you're thinking of. Formula One auto centers. Auto kick. Yeah, this is looking great. So when we start getting into maybe ploppable Rico a little bit later so we can particularly design our industry type areas and things by hand, that might be something we get into doing. We shall see. Right, I'm going to do the same. Yeah, a little bit in here and see if we can get this to expand a little bit more. Now, there is an option on the new tree anarchy where you can automatically get the game to delete any trees that are put under rows and things like that, which I don't have set on. So as you can see, the normal way the game works is you then delete the buildings and they just appear again. But I'm going to see if I can change that. So if we go into our options and down to tree anarchy, and I believe we can set this instead of hide tree, we can set that to delete tree. Behavior when overlap occurs which I think is probably the best way to go. So hopefully I've done that correctly. Uh, that's all filled in. So then we'll test that. So we know there's some trees there. So let's let all this grow in again. And then I'll delete a couple of buildings and we'll see this little corner here. There's a little clutch of trees, whether they are still there or whether they are 100% deleted, which is what we want to see. Okay, this is the test. There we go. We've had this house appear here. Let's delete that. And there we go. The trees are gone. So anything we build from now on, there is not going to be trees hidden underneath it, which is going to be brilliant. That is also going to save FPS as we go along, which is something I'm being, you know, we're going to be adding some mods to this as we're using our new realistic type mods that are going to increase the, the amount of cars that we can have, the amount of units we can have, the amount of pathfinding we can have. We're going to be adding those as we go along. So anything that can help with the FPS is certainly something we need to do so i just added some commercial around here uh, we will give these their own themes when we get there but for now yeah it's going to take some time i'll do that off camera but for now i want to finish all of this off as a massive terrace estate and i'll be back with you once i hit 1600 so this is why i'm going to do things via districts and theme manager otherwise you end up with a pub the crown next to a pub the squirrel next to a pub the black horse next to a pub the stag and pheasant twice next to a pub the squirrel the squirrel oh my goodness pubs everywhere but some of these buildings just look fantastic so when we start individually placing these down or having them in various themes where we only have like one pub so we don't end up having things like this oh this, this looks great we placed it earlier didn't we i think then yeah it's going to work much much better but yeah i'm gonna to have to go through the theme manager it is going to take a while it will take a while but it's going to look so good once it is done oh we're getting there we're so close 1580 only 20 people to go and this is just looking fantastic down here i'm loving the detail on these houses not going to do exactly the same over this side we'll, we'll work on something different and certainly this is a project we're going to upgrade all of these roads up here we've hit it oh tiny town now we'll get access to parks industry so many more things that we're going to work on all the policies a whole load of new roads canals so look down here parks nice nice so many new things oh i love it so how excited are you for our new British Built City series? I can't wait. I can't wait. New mods, new assets, new ideas that we're going to come up with together. Oh, it's going to be exciting. So subscribe so you don't miss out on the next episode. Thank you for your continued support. And I will see you all very soon. Have a great day. Take care. Bye-bye.